Hi friends, today we will create a hello world application using tools. Our objective would be that for a jewelry shop we will use tools to define conditions to give discount. So, For this we'll use Eclipse. We are going to create a Maven project. First let's see what rules actually is. For this I'm going to take reference of my site javainews.com. Rules is a business rules management system solution. In rules we define what rules that we have. In our scenario the rules that if uh, the jewelry type is diamond give this much percent discount if the jewelry type is gold give uh, discount as uh, 30 percent so th such rules are defined in a dot drl file then we define a fax fax will be like the current jewelry item is gold okay so these uh, the combination of these both is fed to the working memory based on this some action is taken like suppose if the rule is that if the gold discount is 30 percent fact is that yes the current item is uh, gold jewelry then yes then a discount of 30 percent will be given the logic that we define in the rules file can also be defined in a java code but the main disadvantage would be that then we would have to regularly update our java code suppose if tomorrow the discount changes for a for a particular item then we have to make changes in the code similarly uh, this changes will have to be made by a, by a developer because this involves code but using rules we will only have to make changes in the .drl files and the rules defined here are much more uh, descriptive so this can even be made by a non-technical person we'll now start with the implementation we'll create a simple maven project We'll have to add only a single dependency here. The dependency is that of rules compiler. So you can go here, just copy this dependency. We'll now build this project. Okay, if we now do a refresh here, the Maven dependencies will come here. Okay, so this is the rules compiler that we are going to need. Next, we'll create a model class named product. Inside the product class, we'll define two variables private string type and private int discount. We generate the getters and setters for these. Depending on the type of product that we have will give the discount so if the type is gold we will give a discount of 30 percent and similarly for other products we will define the discount this discount we are going to define in the .drl file so let's define the .drl file now in the resources folder create another folder name it as com inside this define another folder rule Inside the rules folder, we'll define the rules.drl file. This will contain all our rules for the product.java. So let's take a look at what rules we are going to define. Yeah. 
So the first thing that we will have to do is import the domain class in the .drl file. We'll define the first rule as uh, its name is offer for diamond. So here we are checking that if the object passed is of type diamond, then set the discount as 15. We have a second rule here, offer for gold. If the type of object, uh, the product passed is of type gold, then set the discount as 25%. Similarly, multiple rules can be defined here. Also, this if tomorrow if the discount for diamond is to be changed, there is no need to change anything in the code. What we'll only have to do is in the .drl file, we'll have to set the discount here. So now we'll copy these rules to our .drl file. So now we have the rules. Now we'll have to define the facts. As we had seen here, we have some rules and we have some facts and these both when we add to the working memory, based on that the rules uh, engine it makes uh, some uh, decisions. So now we'll have to define the facts. So let's start with it. Let's create one more class here. So this will be a rules test. What this class does is that in the working memory, it loads both the rule file as well as the fact. The fact in our case is that we have created an object product and we have set its type as gold. So this is this will be a fact. Now working memory supplied both with the fact as well as the rule. And we have defined one rule where when the type is gold, set the discount as 25. So this will be the decision taken by, by the rules engine when we pass the rules file and this fact. Let's copy this. We'll now run this with Java application. And here the discount has been set correctly as 25. So it has taken the product types check the type is uh, gold so according to the rule it has correctly set the discount as 25 uh, the source code for this project you can download it from here uh, hope you understood this tutorial thanks